hello friends good morning good afternoon and good evening so as you understand this video is a short very short update on two engineering colleges in bangalore right which has now become an autonomous so earlier it was uh, purely affiliated to vtu but it's now autonomous and affiliated to vtu right so the first college on the list is like an you know cambridge institute of technology which is in kr puram and its second it has a north campus so this college is already a nac a plus college and uh, in the recent you know uh, nirf ranking right within a specific category so it's a cat one category is called innovation category and within that innovation category it was ranked under 101 to 150 best colleges right so, a very short update i will give on the placements of this uh, you know cambridge how it is going on this year and uh, if you see for this year passing batch which is 2023 like five students have got the highest salaries of 20 lakhs per annum right so those are the students which are getting displaced and the company is called oslash so it has got a decent placement with 20 lakh salary for uh, five students now this is the placement uh, details for btech program and this is the nirf data which got out just two months back so if you can see it will show three years data right in placement data so in 20 passing batch total number of students eligible were 566 and out of 566 students 492 students were placed so close to 500 students were placed and uh, the median salary was 5.1 lakhs 5 lakh 10000 and 28 students went for the higher studies in the next year which is the 21 passing batch the number of the students eligible were 627 and the number of students who got placed were 522 so again above 500 and uh, median salary increased to 5.25 lakhs and the number of students who went for higher studies 30 and if you see the latest placement which is 22 passing batch so 646 students were eligible and out of which uh, 597 that is close to 600 students got placed and uh, 6 lakh 1000 uh, 6 lakh 1000 is the median salary so that's about uh, cambridge and now i'm going to talk about another college in bangalore which is dhanan sagar academy of technology and management so in short it is called dsatm and it's part of a dhanan sagar group of college right and uh, this is different from dhanan sagar university and dhanan sagar college of engineering so this is the third college and this college dsatm is also a nac a plus accredited institute and from other you know standards like it is recognized by aict it is affiliated to vtu vishwasura technology university and it has got uh, aria rankings so this is now have become autonomous from by it is given autonomous status by ugc from 2023 onwards so this is also one of the uh, decent options we talk about the placements and it has the common placements with dhanan sagar college of engineering dsce and ds as ds university which is dhanan sagar university so this is the placement statistics for last 5 to 6 years right so the total number of offers have steadily grown from 363 offers to 428 offers in 2021 and uh, uh, in the next batch which is 2022 which was the best batch which is 614 offers and this year even with the for the batch which is going on currently this is not closed so 538 offers are received so my suggestion is go only for computer science information science computer specialization branches ece in dsatm don't go for the lower end branches up to ece you can take in this college right and um, they also there is a new update that they have launched a new course which is csc in cyber security so that would be also a decent option if you want to take within this year and this is some college contact number in case want to reach there so that's all a short update on, on two new autonomous colleges which has come in uh, bangalore and thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel and uh, you need to go and watch the complete videos about detail placement reviews of this college this is a very short overview so do like the video and share it uh, thank you take care